LSPDFR is only available on PC. In order to play GTA 5, your PC must meet the minimum requirements listed here. I don't recommend Steam, nor do I offer support for Steam. To get GTA 5 on PC, go to socialclub.rockstargames.com and sign in and download and install the free download launcher. Then sign in to the download launcher to purchase GTA 5 or download it from your games list. This is where you get LSPDFR from. It's the uh, LSPDFR website, which is actually lcpdfr.com. So uh, here we are. We're going to click on LSPDFR over here at the top. And then we're going to come down here and click in the middle. You'll see bl in blue it says download LSPDFR 0.4.8. Click on that. Then come down click on download this file agree and download and you're we're gonna do the top one setup.exe um, it's an automatic it's, it's easy so download that when you're done downloading it run it All right there's gonna come a point in time where it's gonna you're going to have to choose the correct file location to install LSPDFR. And so I'm going to show you the, how to figure that out. When you installed Grand Theft Auto 5, if you did it correctly, uh, there will be a, um, a shortcut for it on the desktop. You need to right click on that shortcut, click on open file location. And that's very important because this is you're going to be needing to know how to get to this uh, GTA 5 main root directory on a regular basis. So it's really important that you have that shortcut on the desktop and it's easy to get you right into the main root directory. And then I'm just going to keep clicking this up arrow and it'll show me where we're, we're located. So uh, we're in the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder which is inside the Rockstar Games folder which is inside the programs files which is inside my Windows C um, solid state drive. So at this point LSPDFR is installed and now we're going to go to the GTA 5 main root directory and the easiest way to get to that is um, you, you can see I have a shortcut for Grand Theft Auto 5 here on the desktop I'm just gonna right click on that I'm gonna go to open file location brings me right into the main root directory and then I'm going to you guys have to click this Rage plugin hook and you have, have to run it. Um, it'll install like an application when you click it. Um, I've already got it installed. And you have to kind of let it um, initialize and stuff like that. It might automatically set up a, a shortcut on the desktop. If not, you can right click, send to, and then click on desktop. And uh, one way or another you should have a shortcut for it on the desktop. And then the last thing you need to do is uh, anytime you want to play LSPDFR, um, you just want to um, click on ra the Rage plugin shortcut here. Now, when I clicked on it, it didn't work. It said I had insufficient permissions or something like that. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it, um, run as administrator, and you'll see that that um, will fix it so that now it'll actually work. And I'm not going to um, play right now. I'm just showing you guys how to install this. And what I'll do is I'll, sh I'll do another tutorial um, at a, on a, in the near future showing um, once you have LSPDFR installed, uh, how to actually play it uh, when you're in game. So we'll, we'll do that uh, coming up soon. And I'll also show um, if I find anything that I like that I, that I install, like for vehicles or, or script mods or anything like that. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing like a K9 partner and, and some vehicles. Uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial or two showing you guys um, some installs. But that's it. You can see uh, LSPDFR just um, loaded. And uh, hopefully this help, helped you guys out. Um, showing you the this newest version.